so good morning we're back after a uh, two day of refeeding so uh, because like my weight was dropping very fast and quick which was the plan which is the plan uh, but it also takes a toll on my body so coach uh, decided to put in two refeed days uh, which means I'm eating about 3,000 calories a day again yesterday and the day before yesterday um, the results actually that I increased uh, three kilograms already in one day or two days actually so it helps I have a lot of energy I feel much better um, so it definitely helps to get my mental state back up in the air because I was like I was kind of feeling um, like low in energy all the time and this definitely helps me get back on track so um, one um, physical and mental so yeah let's get the show on the road push day today uh, doing chest a little bit of shoulders so I'm gonna try to record some exercises for you to really take you guys with me into the gym um, but yeah looking forward to the upcoming weeks uh, entering the last 40 days before the contest and I'm very motivated right now so yeah So for the first exercise, I always like to start with an isolation movement, in this case, uh, the pec deck flies. Um, starting with three working sets of 10 to 15 reps, really focusing on the negative movement, so the way back. Um, this movement really makes me feel like the blood is pumping through my chest and uh, really gives me a nice pump and um, like a good preparation for, uh, for the upcoming exercises. So let's go.
today, or as always, I'm focused on uh, on the progress part, so making my muscle grow. Uh, for me, it helps the most when I focus on the way back. So I usually try to, to stretch to, to perform the exercise, like the movement up, uh, like in one second, and then go back in two or three seconds which creates a lot of tension on the muscle I'm training and um, yeah for me that really works and um, so as you can see I'm not focusing on on eagle lifting not focusing on the weight I'm putting on there uh, I do focus on using like the highest amount of weight or the most weight I can do but like technique overall. So I'm focusing on technique, focusing on hypotrophy, um, focusing on muscle growth. And I'm trying to move as much as weight as I can as long as the technique is right. Because that's when your muscles are growing, right? That's when the blood is pumping to the area you're training. Coach introduced two refeed days the past few days, so this is my first day back on the regular schedule. So the past few weeks I've been dropping in calories significantly or every week because I have to drop weight, lose fat and everything, you know, get ripped, get shredded, uh, but still get huge. And because of that I'm around 1800-1900 calories a day. You know your body needs more nutrition to like function and to properly recover and everything and being in a caloric caloric deficit for so long it really has a, a huge impact on your focus on your uh, mental well-being as well as your uh, physical well-being you know you're tired throughout the day and everything so because I was really hitting the edge and coach knew that or he noticed that which just you know shows what an amazing coach Don is and uh, he introduced two reefy days uh, which allowed me to eat 3,000 calories a day again um, and those calories were mainly coming from or mainly they were coming from carbs so uh, I really like pearl couscous which is uh, a big like it's, it's always a big part of my carbs um, so he introduced more rice as a pre-workout meal and he put back the pro couscous in my schedule with uh, like pretty high volume in pro couscous. So and it helped. Like I feel so much better right now. I feel so recharged because at one point I was like just looking at food, various types of food, and it made me like so hungry. It made me like the weirdest things just made me hungry and gave me cravings. Like. For example, if I saw a Eden sandwich on the floor <laughs> that didn't even look tasty, I got hungry, right? And that battle, you know, not trying to be hungry or fighting that hunger or at least ignoring that hunger, I think that's the best way to describe it because I'm not fighting it, I'm just ignoring it. That's mentally also pretty exhausting, right? So that's, the, that's one thing you have to... Um, control or at least try to control and um, so that's pretty exhausting too so the refeed day really made me uh, recharge in every way mentally and physically so I feel I have much more energy right now I also noticed it during the workout today and uh, the pump was like 10 times better than usual usual uh, which is pretty funny because you know because along the way you do not notice the decrease in uh, for example the pump or the decrease in the energy you are having like your daily you're uh, adjusting to your new standard right now after the refi days I do realize that one the hunger is uh, the nutrition part the hunger part is like the biggest challenge of this whole journey because it affects a lot like so many things and the second thing I realized which is something that I'm very positive about is that if that's it if it's a hunger part I only have to control then we're good to go right so I have this whole new 
motivation, this whole new understanding from this journey, which allows me to reflect so many things I was struggling with uh, in a new ways. Uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to the upcoming weeks. I'm literally in the last 41 days right now. So um, yeah, so it's, you know, the last part is always the hardest part, you know, the last mile, but I'm definitely more motivated than I was before the refeed days. So that's that's something that really excites me as well because I, in my mind I was already very motivated. But now I realize I'm even more motivated than I was before. So uh, yeah, I just cannot wait to see how the upcoming weeks are going to be because uh, to be honest, my physique is going pretty awesome. My back is going pretty great as well. As I mentioned here in an earlier video that my back was a challenge because it didn't come through like coach wanted it to come through. And it is coming through right now. So yeah, uh, very excited, very excited.